Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Magdalena and today I'm here with my knitting podcast episode. I will be talking about what I finished, what I'm working on, what I might cast on next. Uh, so yeah, let's begin. It was four weeks since I last time I talked to you and I was updating about how my gift knitting is going. It's November 9th and I had or have three main gift knit projects which are on the larger side what I want to finish up this year. So that was my main focus and actually I almost never had so many ongoing whips and I was enjoying it. It was way easier to you know pick up maybe smaller ones uh, when I know going to Norwegian courses and you know have the bigger but simpler one <laughs> after all the tiring day in the evening. So currently in my life I was having one week left but three days of Norwegian courses after work, so I'm working nine to five plus from five till eight. So actually I was living work around four. Uh, I was having Norwegian courses, I have homework and we probably will move out of Norway soon enough. Uh, but that's another topic. I just filmed a chitty, chatty in it and chat with me talking about all the moves and you know what's happening. But I'm thinking uploading it after this because first I want to update you how it's going with my knitting. Then maybe I will <laughs> uh, schedule it uh, for, I don't know, in a week or two weeks to upload that. And then yet again, it will be maybe next uh, knitting episode. So soon I will have more free time even for knitting. Um, when my inner region courses will be finished and then we also have vacation before Christmas and I'm leaving to Lithuania to visit my family on December 14th, 15th. So by that time I want to be finished with my gift knits. I want to wash them, pack them uh, so they would be ready to gift. Uh, and I also want to film before that what I knit in 2024 since they are gifts so I will be gifting them away and instead of showing pictures it's maybe more fun to show you the real items and I was doing exactly the same thing for the last two years and I never finished anything <laughs> in between Christmas uh, in between filming that video and uh, New Year so technically I never lied it was always everything I finished knitting uh, this time might be the different. I don't know. I don't care. Nobody cares, I think. If you finish something a little bit earlier or a little bit later, but if you're filming almost around the same time, nobody cares. Just you. Um, so, yeah, those are my future plans for, I don't know, entertainment for you videos. So, let's talk. Okay, what I'm wearing. So, I'm wearing the sweater I one of the two sweaters I finished this year for myself. So this is the horse's sweater, but it is, no, this is with Let Lope Yarn um, Istex. I think this was their old pattern, heavily modified, uh, especially for the body shaping. I included a little split ham. I talked a lot about it in other podcasts, so <laughs> I'll try to take it quickly, talk quickly. But let lop yarn in color straw, barley, and chocolate. Beautiful horse design, heavily modified, didn't do a lot of color work. I think it would be better for that heavy color work if the sec of if the contrasting colors would be the same difference between the main color because then it starts the bubbly and I felt like um, bubbly effect would be disappear with the really close to the main color color and then it will just pop up in strange ways with uh, chocolate color so i just decided not to do it and i also was running off the yarn i think i managed exactly finish one of those uh, contrasting colors balls and i was just yes i don't need to buy any more um let's do this uh, but yeah i really enjoying how it's fitting i yeah made the body fit almost perfectly in my opinion and if you see that i'm sitting with the sweatpants i am not apologizing for them <laughs> because i want to sit comfortably and i have a lot of emotions <laughs> strong emotions this week so i think it's fine it will be fine so today if i didn't mention is not 
November 9th, so in five days it is my boyfriend's birthday and this is his sweater, <laughs> still not finished. Uh, but both sleeves are finished. I think it's not the best lighting because when I started filming or when I was sit down to put everything up, it was a really gloomy day. It was not enough light from the outside, so I thought I brought off my fake lights. And now I think they may not be as strong as the sun behind me, so it could be a bit to not give their real colors-ish. I don't know. I will try to, while editing, fix it up a little bit if it is not perfect. Uh, but it may be not as good to see. Because while well, I was knitting, when I ordered this yarn first time, I ordered nine balls from bookshop, yeah, but they sent only seven balls and they refunded me for the next two balls because why knitter would need all nine balls they ordered in the same order. Uh, so of course I didn't get the same uh, when I was ordering from another place because I decided to fuck it. <laughs> I still needed more balls because I was not able to finish that sweater uh, and I got different dye a lot and it is it's slightly different i don't know if you can see i don't know from which direction or which lighting but i can see where is that difference but it is you really have to look for it it is annoying but mm, it's annoying but <laughs> what i can do so uh, here it is Ill, so I don't know how it is on camera and I think like maybe in yellow lighting like in the evenings you totally cannot see the difference but in the daylight sometimes I can see it and my boyfriend is not seeing colors as I do you know as a man so I'm pretty sure that he won't notice that much as I will but that is really sad thing that they ruined it but in a way okay I didn't ruin it myself uh, so yeah, so I knitted the original batch, the seven balls, the body, uh, the sleeve, one ball of that, each sleeve has one ball of that original batch, you know, then the body are all leftovers, and uh, okay, this one was where I switched to the different color batch, so it was really not that much left from the sleeves knitting, and then now I'm finishing up the body, I have that much left, and I was thinking that probably I won't have enough yarn to finish up the sweater so i made another yarn order just to have one more extra ball and this time i got the same batch so that was really good because i was afraid do i will have even a third batch to, for the same sweater because that was just dumb i think i might be able i don't know to do this you know like since they're so similar if i would do this you know is it helical knitting where when i think you start earlier to sh switch colors and unit you know one row, one yarn, another row, another yarn, and you just, while well, you finish it up. But I really enjoy split splicing <laughs> when you fell together to ends, so I have no ends to weave in. This is such a nice sweater because I have no fucking ends to weave in. Okay, maybe under the armpits where I started knitting um, sleeves because I cast, uh, took the new ball of yarn, but otherwise there is no ends to be in. It almost can be reversible and I love it so much this thing. This is why I love knitting with 100% wool yarns and oh I didn't mention but this is Viking yarn by Viking wool 100% Highland merino wool and uh, this color was marine. Marine? I think that it is marine. Uh, it will be linked down below and always you can check details on Ravelry. I try to upload but maybe not perfect because nobody ever asks questions <laughs> about my sweaters. Yeah, this is 50 grams, 100 meters and it, uh, I got the gauge which is written on the ball, 18 stitches in 10 centimeters and maybe 29, 29 grams, I don't know. But this is really nice yarn, I really love knitting with it. Ooh, and Okay, I will show you later on what I bought more, but since it is on the sweater, I bought... This is the first stitch marker I ever bought. This is my second stitch marker I have, because I was when I was buying hand-dyed hank of yarn, I got a stitch marker. Oh, it's, it's rotating. Wrong. Okay. Okay, let's try to show you this beautiful butterfly. And with stitch markers, I thought, especially after I got the first one as a gift when I was buying hand-dyed yarn, and I 
didn't knit it. And I put that stitch marker on the summer project, which got as UFO. So it still exists. I still have it, but I'm not using. And actually, it brought me joy. So this time when I was buying, uh, putting the order, and I thought that maybe I should buy. Because I thought that I will collect them and it will be something you don't need to buy. It just appears in your life. But in two to three years, I'm knitting, it didn't appear. And it's quite fun. It's quite, uh, I was so used to using these removable ones, um, which are not stitch markers. I think they are for sewing, but I'm just using it for knitting because it's very comfortable. Really nice, you know, to mark, you know, when you're calculating stitches, you can always add and remove them so they don't have to be like, like this one is less flexible in a way, but at the same time it moves together when you're knitting to, so to see where, you know, your round stars is really nice and really funny and now I am in love and I want more stitch markers. Maybe more even various stitch markers, maybe more of those you can, you know, like progress creepers where you can remove them, but more beautiful than these <laughs> simple ones. Uh, and, you know, have maybe a few more extra of those too. I thought that this butterfly was beautiful. And it actually brings joy to seeing my stitch markers on the knitting. So maybe I'm, at first I was more for, you know, saving money, you don't need to buy a lot of things. You just, you know, see what you actually need, you know, what, you know, is useful. And uh, after knitting for three years, I decided that, first of all, I can't afford <laughs> buying a stitch marker. And second of all, yeah, just let's see, buy one and see where it goes. So probably, I might buy a few more extra, uh, since it is also, you, you having only one, it will be boring. It's, after some time it would become the same as this, but if you have, you know, a few ones and you can rotate. I don't think that you need hundreds, but a few of them, for sure. And so, yeah, no regrets. And very, very cheap, so, but it, it's still a bit, um, yeah. It's beautiful. It's butterfly. And it's way better quality than I was expecting from the picture because sometimes, you know, you see online and you think, oh, is it a really cheap, uh, badly made, plasticky thing? And it's just, this one is really beautiful, metallic one. Uh, so yeah, this is my boyfriend's sweater. I have five days to finish. And in a week, we are leaving for Madeira for vacation, autumn vacation. I cannot wait for it. Uh, and I was really thinking, probably, you know, he will want to be, take at least one you know, warmer sweater to have in the cold climates or, you know, for the flight because we're leaving from Norway and it will be cold. So my plan is to finish and try to block it before we're leaving. And at the same time, it will be more his, you know, birthday gift, not a Christmas gift. Because this year's plan was to give him free things for his 30th birthday, to make it a bit more special than, you know, every other birthday. Uh, so yeah, I gifted him two gifts already. And this, my plan was for the third one. So this will be fun. And it's just, you know, a few more rounds of ribbing, you know, casting off and the collar. It should be fine. And maybe I will start this next ball because I want to prove that I needed it, that I needed to do that yarn order and I needed that yarn, that, that ball of yarn. <laughs> uh, so yeah, moving on to actual finished project is this beautiful baby beer suit actually. Yeah, so the last time I talked, I was, I knitted, uh, yeah, this is, has really beautiful hood with two years, like baby beer, but now when I blocked, I think it's really wants, um, I don't know, really relaxed. Yes, I think that it is more relaxed and more like, you know, st stretching it out the hood, so I don't want to stretch it out that much. And the body, so I was around, oh, I didn't show my progress from the last time, but yeah, I was around, I think, just here. I hold the stitch marker until I blocked, I even blocked it. And then I just removed it for a few photos and never put it back uh, because I wanted to show you progress. So I was around here, I had, yeah, I had no, so I knitted all the body, I knitted both legs, both arms, uh, both sleeves, not arms. And how? Leg part, then it's called, I have no idea, doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, button band, and I bought these buttons. 
funnily enough, these buttons cost me around, I think, 10 euros, 10 dollars when you convert from Norwegian kronas. <laughs> and it is one third of the sweater price. <laughs> so this is a um, knitting for olive pattern, baby beer suit by Pernilla Larsson, I think. Um, yeah, and this yarn is not knitting for olive. It is uh, drops extra fine merino wool. I have both. Oh, okay, this is exactly like the same yarn. Drops merino extra fine. Uh, it is super wash. Since this is a gift for my cousin's baby, and I decided that I want them to not to have to wash by hand, so it will be in. Uh, or potentially ruin things, so I decided it will be easier if I knit with superwash wool and I got the perfect gauge with this yarn, so it was really easy just following the pattern. Pattern was really fine, <laughs> I found only one mistake and it was one stitch mistake, which is quite dumb and only for one year old side and maybe I got English pattern, so maybe in other languages that mistake doesn't exist, but for the pickup rate or how much, not pickup rate, uh, it was written and only for uh, one year old side it was to pick up for button band uh, even number of stitches and for all other sizes it was odd number of stitches and it was one stitch mistake since you need to pick up odd number of stitches to be able when you knit a ribbon in flat and you want to start and finish with the same stitch you need to have odd numbers because it was like knit purl knit so if you want to like have two knits in between it's odd number uh, or two pearls in between so yeah it was just one stitch and I noticed <laughs> picking up for the button that for the first one took maybe three hours I am not kidding it took me three hours to figure out my pickup rate how I'm picking up to make it sure and I think it did turn out really beautifully but it took fucking three hours <laughs> In the same time, I'm just almost finishing up one sleeve and it was just for the pickup rate. So when I picked up and finally knitted the first row and I noticed that it doesn't work in the stitch pattern and then I read and see that all others were odd numbers and only one even number. So just, yeah, this is a mistake. Uh, I just decided that, yeah, it's too late and I, I don't care that much. So I left it, uh, I left it, you know, just not exactly you know correct and it was the where the buttons are so the top one it just looks correctly um, in both sides but I didn't yeah yeah that's the ribbing pattern but I was at first did I messed up you know ribbing pattern did I do you know two knits or two pearls in some case you know and now it was just a mistake in the pattern but Everything else, you know, it wasn't that neither difficult nor easy to follow the pattern and just, you know, uh, you have to read it carefully, I think, and just follow it. And it was quite fun to knit it. And the body was a slug for this, you know, the body was really lasting a long time. And now I'm knitting a second one, which is also sort of a working project section. So yeah, last time I was in the similar position. <laughs> uh, as it is now but this time I feel like body and yoke was knitting faster in a way maybe because I know what to expect and maybe I'm not focusing as much as on finishing it it's just more like oh I have to know I have time I'm knitting or you know I'm moving and uh, there's so many things sometimes happening in life that I don't concentrate on uh, how it's going you know do I have time? Because now I feel like, yes, in this week I will finish my boyfriend's sweater for sure. And to finish this one, maybe I need two weeks and I have a month. Uh, so I think it will be more than enough time uh, to knit it before Christmas. Even I have more, you know, I can, you know, start playing what I'm casting on next, you know, what I should pick up, what I should take to um, uh, Madeira when we are flying. We are flying only with uh, backpacks for six days it will be fine but maybe I was thinking even leave this because I think it, this will be unfinished project at the time which I want to finish before Christmas uh, this is for another cousin <laughs> baby uh, both boys and um, yeah both boys <laughs> both boys similar age and I was growing up with those two cousins and we usually celebrate Christmas together I don't know if this year we will meet everyone 
uh, or not, uh, but uh, because uh, this boy, I, I am unsure if he will be in Lithuania around Christmas or not, but in that case, I'm already packed, I already write a letter to my cousin, it's ready to be, I know, shipped if we are not seeing each other for Christmas and this boy will see. So this boy will be only six months uh, and by the end of the winter it will be nine months and that boy will be nine months and he's getting in by the end of the winter one year. So this is why I picked up one year old side and this boy was really growing really fast. Uh, at least when in summertime I was talking with his parents. So maybe he will also need, I didn't want to, you know, need something too small and I think other size was, was it like, one month, was it one month, three months, six months, one year and two years, something like that. And I was really playing with idea, what should I do for the legs, this boys, because for this one I quite soon decided just to do this uh, rib cuff, not full legs, like sock shape. But for this boy I was thinking more, because I think even for two years old there are no, you know, like leg shaping, socky part, only ribbing part. And for other sizes you can decide what you want to do. And I was thinking, oh, it's so good because, you know, immediately have like sock too and legs so the whole leg is warm. And for babies who are not walking, I thought this is maybe better. But then uh, I was started thinking, what if, you know, a leg... Uh, the knitted leg part is not long enough or short enough, it could be uncomfortable if it is you know, too baggy, too loose or not long enough. Then I did thought that uh, one of the YouTubers said that uh, her babe, her kid was wearing, not exactly this, but knitted uh, overall. Uh, she knitted overall in 18 month size and her three-year-old kid was still wearing the same. Of course, it was fitting a bit differently, but since, you know, the knitted fabric is quite stretchy and you know sometimes kids I think grows more to the length than maybe to the width uh, so you know maybe this one was also can be rotated if needed uh, for smaller kids so I think this is really nice ribbing cuff it's quite long and really beautiful and can be really practical so I was thinking uh, I bought more yarn to knit a sock part but now I'm thinking of not doing just doing also rib part because it will be just easier and maybe more long lasting because maybe these will be also fitting for the next winter while babies are a little bit smaller than two year old um, so maybe we will see how it will end up uh, and I already when I bought those buttons I also bought buttons for this one so as I showed the buttons for this one we are like mini tractors and buttons for this one I think really beautifully will look against this fabric so it's like little feet animal feet I don't know baby e <laughs> beer ears and baby feet so this was really beautiful and I think that would look nice on the another one too but yeah so I picked those two interesting ones uh, so yeah I think like I'm on the spot, I guesstimated quite color correctly everything, you know, for my Christmas planning uh, at this point, it is going quickly and slowly, just, you know, as expected. Uh, yeah, life is more busy maybe these days. So I think I, yeah, I had a marker here uh, when I, half of the body I think is done, then another part of the, I think from here it is marked the body length. So yeah. We will have, you know, three nice gifts. But at the same time, knitting second one is quite boring, or at least it's not as exciting. I feel like I'm more excited for this one because it was also different color, because, you know, it was two blue ones. Oh, yes, color. So it was uh, drops, extra fine merino wool superwash. Um, this was color 37. Uh, foggy forest or something like that and it's really beautiful color I really love it oh yeah we will talk more about this color later and this was I think maybe just blue dark blue I don't remember it will be linked I think the color code was 20 everything will be linked down below or in my rivalry especially which yarns I'm using uh, if you have more questions you can always ask me if I didn't share them well enough it's a bit fluffy around here okay let's see how can 
how can I put back into the box? I was planning. Oh yes, the only thing I was thinking also to knit for parents is like uh, knit also little swatch so they can wash. At least my this cousin for the blue baby has a dryer too, uh, so she can you know if she wants to risk it, she can first. Uh, she can first put, you know, little swatch for the, the washing cycle as she wants to knit and then see if it survives or not. And this baby, I don't know if he has drying machine or not, so, but I have way more of this color's yarn, but I decided maybe it should be the same color uh, yarn. And yes, I was trying, oh, how many balls of yarn did I? Ooh, I, yes, this is what I didn't calculate it because this is how much a yarn I have left. So it's almost full. It's really almost full ball of yarn, but I opened it up and I'm really happy about it. Yeah, when I was calculating, because uh, the, the, the gauge was perfect, but the, the yardage was different from this ball, so then knit, knitting for olive, so I was calculating by meterage how much they required, and then dividing by the meterage of this one, so I knew how much balls. So was it 8.33 or something like that, I was estimating, but it was like maximum, so I was thinking maybe, you know, if it is like 8.1, <laughs> and you know, it could be that you don't need, because it was not you know, like using all the balls of the original yarn. Uh, but actually I needed, even if I was thinking maybe having one more ex sort of extra ball, but I was also selecting colors for a future gift I want in it from exactly the same yarn I was thinking, so I'm happy of having leftovers, so I will can do color work. It will be maybe for their next uh, Christmas, for both of them, again. <laughs> this is annoying, but at the same time I want to show that I love them both that yeah that i love my cousins both and that i love their babies both and it's a bit more annoying to knit two things uh, but i will knit a bird sweater by knitting for olive i think they're really beautiful and i picked out color scheme from this drops merino extra fine i will add because <laughs> i think last time i was talking about i didn't add this color scheme i picked up and done uh, how I will knit that bird sweater. So this was one of those greenish colors. And unexpectedly with this color, I really loved, I don't know if today it will look really good because it could be that it's a little bit darker and not seeing that much, but I really love how it looks with my eyes. Uh, so then I needed to order one ball of yarn and to get free shipping, of course I ordered more. Um, let's move this box away. So when I was ordering more yarn, uh, for my boyfriend setter uh, to finish it up uh, and I was so into this color I bought more balls of yarn actually I didn't check if they're all the same dialogue or not it would be interesting to check uh, but the blue was most importantly the same dialogue as I needed uh, but I was thinking and when I was knitting I was thinking oh this would be such a beautiful top and I was imagining those um, sleeveless like mock neck tops and I was just oh this, this looks so beautiful with cardigans or the little more officey jackets and this color you know should play with my eyes really beautifully I was imagining it I don't know if this is good lighting or not to see it this time but when I was so I was thinking maybe I should also you know knit a hat because at that time I was not finding the only hat I own and I own that hat since 2015 so I think it's time for me to get something new. Uh, so I was enjoying the idea to having like you know mm, like it is like a top but at the same time like a vest but I like a fitted vest because I don't like uh, baggy clothes I like more elegant more fitting clothes. Um, like I know even this sweater I knitted it to be not <laughs> really loose uh, so you know that I was thinking so maybe this I will knit even I bought now yarn I may knit it more in the you know spring season I think that it will be more like seasonally appropriate or whatever but actually if I'm passionate I should knit maybe but I also passionate about other things <laughs> so it's totally fine but yeah I have idea what I want in it is just like sleeveless top with a mock neck in wool uh, so it's maybe not the most practical thing 
but where I live, even in summertime, I guess it would be totally fine to wear wool because plus 22 degrees Celsius, I don't know, six, is it 60 in Fahrenheit? It's not a lot. It's not a lot, it's totally livable. Uh, so that should be fine. Another thing, so okay, I will show you my order. So this is how it looks inside. So another thing, uh, so about the same yarn, because I was thinking about the hat, but I wanted to match my eyes. Uh, and I was asking my boyfriend, you know, does this is my eye color or not? And he said that this maybe is too dark to blue and it's like gray green. <laughs> it's too dark and too blue toned. Um, uh, and so then I selected another color. So that was 37, this is 47. And I don't remember its name. I don't know. They don't write color names. Uh, because it looked lighter and more yellowish as my eyes. So this could be exactly color of my eyes. I have no idea, but I think so. I bought five balls of these, three balls for tube hat, something similar to a muscle borer hat. I just will improvise it uh, myself. And then maybe two or to knit some, you know, smaller scarf to have like matching accessories. Um, as uh, similar to Sophie's car, I, yeah, I don't have a pattern for it and there's a lot of those small scarves floating around patterns, some paid, some maybe free. Uh, could be that I will just improvise <laughs> Sophie's scarf <laughs> structure because it's just garter stitch. And I'm thinking that this will be my Madeira vacation knits. Uh, maybe I will start with a hat. Uh, I think it would be really useful, for example, for Christmas. I think it will be beautiful. And I was even happier because for the top, usually I don't feel like pastel colors suit me well. Even this one, I think maybe washes me out, but maybe those, you know, darker accents, you know, helps a little bit. And I just love the sweater too much. And I love the idea of having like neutral color sweater too much uh, to, I don't know, to doubt it. But for the future, I noticed that I think the darker color suits me better maybe dark warm colors and this was you know already felt like a bit light color uh, so I just still decided made top in this a bit darker color because I thought maybe it will look better but for the hat uh, I think that you know lighter colors are better because they reflect more light so in the dark uh, season <laughs> and uh, it will be really useful to have white hats you know or reflexive hat with reflex reflective thread yarns hats I was knitting last year I didn't knit myself more that's you know the saying that shoemaker is about shoes <laughs> um, so I was thinking it's good to go even lighter for the hat and the white uh, headband I was putting on I knitted and while I was not finding my hat I had only the white headband and then just those headsets so my ears were not really cold um playing around but i will need a hat living in norway even if i move to denmark soon it will still be really useful uh but yeah it is lighter it may match my eyes so it might look beautiful because i was looking something and i think your eye color is always like your color uh and the last thing i bought is again viking garden viking wool but in red color and then i saw this red then i was buying my boyfriend uh, sweater and i bought this one i just oh so beautiful i want it i want it in my life it's such a beautiful color uh so then i was ordering and i needed to order you no know, yarn i decided oh fuck it i will buy it because i really two years ago i think i needed needed the one and only cabled uh, sweater and one and only uh, red sweater and it was so beautiful the only problem that it was too small and i was always fixing the sleeves always fitting the length it was always a bit too short always bit too sleeves too, too much and it was really 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 fitted uh so i just gave it to my aunt which is a really petite woman so for her it is really nice and this year when she was calling to go say you know congratulations with your birthday or whatever um she was wearing that sweater and so I thought that was not on purpose, but it was, she just loves to wearing it. Uh, but yeah, 
after that I love the idea of having red cable setter so when I was looking and usually I like to knit maybe with uh, not as thick yarn because for my boyfriend I was looking oh yes five millimeter needles you know 18 stitches uh, you know but you know I will not knit him you know four millimeter needle sweater um, just because it's less it's way more fun to knit for yourself than forever, so I thought, you know, not to lose motivation and etc. I just, you know, bigger yarn, bigger needles, and uh, he's really happy and has no, uh, no wishes even for the smaller. He didn't ask me, oh, can it be, you know, like with smaller yarn? He doesn't care <laughs> about it. But for myself, I was thinking maybe, you know, lighter sweaters are more versatile or whatever. Oh, yes, and why I decided maybe it's a dumb idea to knit a short sleeve. A uh, woolen top. Another thing I was thinking that thought was that it is still good idea to have different kind of clothing because if every sweater would be from the same yarn, from the same style, really heavy, thick, then you know transitional whatever you don't have anything to wear. And I thought you know knitting this and then maybe like dark foresty green cardigan and this one, it could be beautiful. So yeah, and maybe this cardigan from this <laughs> yarn too. Uh, the only thing is that one dumbass forgot that she was ordering the tenth ball of yarn for her boyfriend's sweater to just estimate. My boyfriend's, I checked the bust measurement is maybe just a few centimeters smaller than mine, but my waist is smaller, my arms are a bit smaller, our torso length is quite similar, so you know, it's, he would need almost exactly the same amount of yarn, and I bought nine balls, and I was thinking of knitting cables, and I'm now I'm just thinking just why am I doing this again to myself? <laughs> I need, probably needed that. Why I didn't order 10? And I was so willing that I ordered 10. So I just packed him and I was like, oh, but this is only 9. Didn't they add me, you know, all 10 balls of yarn? And then I checked that in my order that I just picked up 9. I'm just, you dumbass. <laughs> and I love this yarn. So even if I would left with one left over, it's not that bad. <laughs> this uh, let loop, it was quite scratchy. This one is uh, soft. Uh, it's... It's not, I don't know, it's not slick, it has more grip to it, but it is still soft. My boyfriend likes it, you know, it's really warm, like, you know, fluffy, like a cloud you put on yourself, just... Um, so, yeah, and for this sweaters, I have no... Well, I have idea, not idea, and I was thinking that I want cable sweater, you know, trying something, you know, practicing cabling and etc. They can be really beautiful. And while I was waiting for yarn, I sometimes started imagining, I still have my boyfriend sweater here, so it will be as dark almost as this. So I thought that, oh, cables won't see, so maybe something really minimalistic or really, you know, simple and easy. And when I got this yarn, which is just mid-toned uh, dark, so cables would show more, and I was thinking, ooh, maybe some more interesting designs. But in one case or another, Arctic Like is really inspiring, but I'm, I want to like replan cables and some change things around and etc. And I was just, you know, going from Pinterest boards, you know, looking into different cable patterns, seeing what I like, what I not, don't like. I know how to balance, maybe design my own. But cables will take more yarn than simple because I need probably more stitches. Um, another thing I was thinking which could help, you know, to fit in those nine balls, even if cables, this, but this yarn is five. I was thinking maybe go up to five and a, five and a half millimeter needles. Uh, so just my bit stitch gauge would be, be bigger and maybe, you know, the whole setter will be, you know, compensate for cables. But I don't have <laughs> five for five because I usually don't knit with such a large needle set uh, sizes. Uh, I think the biggest needle I have six, but from five to six could be a big jump. I don't know. Let's see. Yes. Uh, so I have wooden, I think, up to five millimeters. Is it five on this or it's not? Yes, it is still printed, but it's almost not seen. So five. So uh, I assume this one. So I have still places, you know, to improve improve to add more needles so five and a half and uh, six and for the metals uh, i see i know in reverse order uh so it is for three three and a half but i have metal ones only three four five and six sizes and wooden ones because i think the metal ones i prefer metal ones but they were out of stock when i was buying like three and a half four and a half so i i have enough time to buy new ones but yeah, so I have only six and a five. 
so I don't know. <sighs> of course I can buy needles too, but it just... Can I just knit and not overcomplicate my life? But yeah, at least when I'm buying from the same yarn shop, and I might, because I was buying from Garnus uh, once upon a time, I uploaded a video and quite a lot of people enjoyed watching it uh, when they didn't send me the whole yarn order, they were replying really slowly, but by the end of the day they sent me back uh, the whole order, you know, all balls they didn't add to the first shipment, and they also, yeah, and they are on the cheaper side, at least the you new know, price is always incomparable and they are one of the cheapest. But I don't like their selection that much, but yet again, you know, it's uh, it's enough usually for me. And now I, they have like this loyalty program where when you buy, you like collect their like money uh, and that for their, you know, shop's money, you can order something and I reached already the amount I can choose something. So even if I, and you choose pattern with yarn, um, and those yarns, I would say that they are on the cheaper side, so I am unsure if I really, really want some of them, uh, but you can even order something for yarn, so you know, just pick up, uh, in some cases, you know, if there's something has, you know, nicer yarn, you can pick up that sweater, even if you don't plan to knit exactly that sweater and just pick up the size of the yarn amount you are thinking you will need to knit something. I think that one of the nicest yarns are for the scarf, but it is one size of one ball. Uh, I think it's like Sophie's scarf, just only with, um, uh, with uh, garter, not the garter, um, more stitch. And I think just one ball for it. It's really nice yarn, I think, in that. Uh, but I was thinking maybe me, there are a few sweaters I just I wouldn't mind because it would be free. Uh, I just I was already you know buying yarn for them, and I was thinking if that would allow me free shipping, I could also add the you know missing ball or two yarn and really knit a nice. But I need swatch for the red yarn to see my new gauge <clears throat> because then I can estimate if I really need more stitches and. I will need more because my boyfriend also doesn't like uh, baggy clothes, so it is also quite form fitting. But it was almost enough. Those nine balls, just like on the body ribbing and only neckline left. So I think I will need to start the tenth one, but uh, I'm done. That, 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 that's the only explanation, because I thought that I ordered the exactly same amount of the yarn balls I needed for my boyfriend's head. But I didn't. I'm a dumb one. Here. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!